All right, guys, welcome back. This is going to be a cool video because before we start diving into loops and programming, I want to talk about event handlers because they are extremely easy to call and they are all, they are awesome and really powerful. And we already used uh, an event handler in a previous video, but let's create a cool program that will allow us to change our background with the rollover of a mouse. And our mouse or your cursor is ultimately going to be the dictator in this situation. Let me show you an example. So go to sdprowindowcleaning.com. I'll just go from the top, just www.sdprowindowcleaning.com. Now scroll down. You see these two videos right here, or these two images right here? These, there's two images right here. One of them's black and white, the other one's regular. And just with the rollover with the mouse, without even clicking anything, they change. And it's pretty darn cool because this is like a super easy JavaScript effect that anybody can do. And there's only like five event handlers. We can learn them all right now. So look at that. Doesn't that add like way better kind of functionality to the site? I think so. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our program. So let's go, uh oh, let's go back to our index.html file. And what do I want to do? I want to call a function and we can call this anything that we want. And we'll title this change BG color change background I don't know red is that cool and we'll give it the parameters even though we're not gonna have an argument in there then let's give it uh, curly braces so we can execute something and in here we, we're gonna use the JavaScript property documents BG color and I know what you guys are thinking you're like dude this guy CH is just making this stuff up on the fly I'm not I've just I'm kind of from I mean I'm I program in JavaScript for a while now so you're gonna learn you know the calls the statements the functions as you go but keep in mind we're changing the background color right here and this is something that I did not make up this is something JavaScript already had compiled and they know what to do as long as we call it so let's go ahead and change this color to red and if you know the hex color if you know because every browser um, renders color with like the six digit pattern like I don't know FF4800 That'll give us kind of a red, but that's more of an orange color. So I'm just going to go ahead and type red because JavaScript and browsers will know simple colors. We could we could type like red, orange, purple, blue, but we can't type like avocado green. They wouldn't know how to how to render that correctly. So let's just go ahead and make it simple for our browser. Let's go ahead and type red, and we'll close that out. Now let's create another function called change bg. Um, yellow. Is that cool with you guys? I guess we'll make this kind of, you know, Bob Marley kind of Rasta looking background. So let's go ahead and use the exact same thing. I'll just copy and paste right here. Let's steal that and let's plug it in right there. Bring it back, clean up my code a little bit and I'll just change this to yellow. And we'll do one more color for good measure. We'll just do all of this. I'll take all of that and what's the third Rasta color? Red, yellow, and green. Bob Marley would be proud. Okay, so again, we've just created functions, but we have not done anything with them yet. So let's go ahead, go outside of our script tag, because we can still call our JavaScript functions from outside our script tab. So let's drop down a couple lines, and I'll create a span, on, click, and spans. These are just real small, like, div tags. If you want, like, a big chunk of code, use a div tag. If you just want to highlight like one word or want one word to have something, uh, use a span tag. So that's what we're going to do. And let's go ahead and call our function that we created. And it was change bg red. And let's give it our parameters. And we'll type red right here. Let's go ahead and close out our span. And I'll give it a break tag. And then I'm going to copy and paste this three more, two more times. There it is, and I'll get rid of that break tag right there. So this color was yellow. Save that, and green. Save that. Now we just got to change our functions to the correct name that we called them. So this is yellow in camel case, and this is green. So now let's save this, and let's reload it in our browser. Okay, so all our colors are right there, 
but nothing has changed. Our background's still white. Now go ahead and click on one of your colors. Click on red. Boom. Click on yellow. Yellow. Click on green. Check that out. How cool is that? That's just like the, the most simplest JavaScript um, program that we can run. Or maybe not, that's not maybe true, but it's very easy and very cool at the same time. So, yeah, and there's different, there, there's like, I think there's like five different event handlers. And our event handler, just from the top, it's right here. It's our on click. We could just type, we could type this to, what are the five event handlers? It's on click, on load. So if you built like a, let me, like a slideshow, you'd want to have it set to on load because as soon as the page loads, you'd want your slideshow to start running. And we'll do, I'll give you another example. We'll do on mouse over and I'll save this and I'll reload it. And now as long as our mouse is just over red without even clicking, JavaScript will take over and be like, okay, I'll change your background from here. So that is event handlers right here. These are pretty cool stuff. And um, all the event handlers, if I can name these off the top of my head, I'd be pretty impressed with myself. There's on click, on load, on mouse over, on mouse out and on unload. I think that's it. Don't quote me on it, but that is event handlers. That is JavaScript. Hopefully this worked for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to get into loops.